Right, so we're continuing our coverage here at Conditex 2019 and we've made our way to Arika. Now for those that aren't aware, Arika is a brand I talk about on the channel quite a lot. Over the years we've seen them produce very affordable Thunderbolt storage, but with bigger and better solutions coming all the time, ranging from dinky little four bays all the way up to enormous 12 bay desktop solutions and rack mount, I thought it would be incredibly remiss not to give them the proper spotlight they deserve here at Cobitex. Now, first and foremost, what we're looking at here is the four, the six, and another six bay of storage. There's Thunderbolt, USB 3.1 connectivity, and SAS connectivity. With every device arriving, with support of three and a half inch drives all the way up to 16 terabytes right now, as well as multiple tiers of RAID support with a RAID chip inside to take care of it, that is a great amount of storage open to you. And also, it's incredibly competitively priced when you compare them with the likes of Drobo, Promise, and more. So it's one of the main reasons I've always focused on them on this channel. The minute you go to the larger iterations, you do end up with LCD panels and direct control of the inside of the device. And as I've mentioned on the channel before, it's worth highlighting that this device here, this six bay, is one of the few, I think there's like five different devices available on the market that is USB 3.1 Gen 2 and RAID enabled. Now, I know that doesn't seem like much, but a RAID 5 or 6 enabled USB 3.1 Gen 2 box is incredibly rare. And Arika have had one for a while at a very affordable price. And it's another reason why I'm glad to see them at the show, and particularly this guy here. But let's move on to something a little bit newer, shall we? Now, in terms of new things, we've got some pretty interesting stuff here. First and foremost, we have a rack mount 24 bay Thunderbolt 3 RAID enabled device with a whole host of connections on the rear and a whole huge amount of storage. This is a big, big beast. And for you guys working in uh, content creation, photo, video editing, broadcasting, and any kind of post production, this is borderline limitless storage for you guys out there. And on top of that, with that Thunderbolt 3 connection and the inherent speed benefits of the right media and the right RAID combined together, with a device that has RAID inbuilt to offset the work that goes into it, you are looking at a tremendously fast and capable device. And once again, far, far more affordable than companies like uh, Lacey and GTEC right now. So if the budget is a little thin, but your aspirations are very high, this can be very attractive. But going from the very big to the very small, because here we have the 8050T36M. This is a six bay, two and a half inch version of that six bay we saw earlier. It's with its own internal PSU, its own internal RAID support and more, as well as connectivity and support for USB 3.1 uh, uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2, sorry, and Thunderbolt 3. This portable device is perfect for when you are on location and you need fast backups, fast storage, a fast archive, and fast output overall. But let's move over to the last part of this stand. Now let's look at desktop. This is big, big desktop storage. Now there are two things I really want you to take in from this last part of the video. First and foremost, for those that aren't aware, this is that Thunderbolt 3 8 bay device that has featured on the channel in the past. And this is a 12 bay Thunderbolt desktop device with LCD panel, USB 3.1 Gen 2 support. Of course, it's got hardware RAID inside thanks to the RAID card that's featured on the device. But what I didn't mention is a number of these devices have a SAS port on the rear of them. The reason for that SAS port is a Rika have also included an expansion chassis, a JBOD device that you can connect via SAS to these an expandable storage array, something that wasn't available on a number of Thunderbolt platforms. And the ability to expand your storage so dramatically with this SAS JBOD, it's something that cannot be like, you know, understated. That's incredibly unique to this brand and something that only a handful of DAS direct attached storage brands have done, and particularly Thunderbolt 3 brands as well. But apart from that, this has been the Eureka stand. I do hope you find more out about Eureka products on this channel and, of course, on others. After this, we're going to move over to more software-enabled things here at Computex. And otherwise, thank you for enjoying the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.